So after you have entered all of the basic information into the Express Start, QuickBooks allows you to get all of the details into QuickBooks Desktop. So you are presented with the screen that you see in front of you. Now you can go and add all of the people that you do business with. Um, you can add the products and services you sell, and you can also add your bank accounts. So you have the option of doing all of this here. Okay. But for the purposes of this course, we'll, we can always go back and customize this at a later date, <laughs> later date, later time in the course. But if you were working in um, QuickBooks Live, then yeah, you can go back and associate it at another time or another date. So what we want to do is click on start working. Now where I'm going to be demonstrating in this lecture is what's called tax mapping. And you map the proper tax forms to accounts in your chart of accounts. So to see how your chart of accounts look inside of QuickBooks, you want to click on the chart of accounts icon under the company file. So you see here that QuickBooks is still thinking, it's still, you know, putting information together. So it may be a few minutes before you're able to go ahead and do all these uh, tax mappings. So you see that after you have click started working, QuickBooks is going to go through all of these other things that you can do inside of QuickBooks. So you can just close out of the messages. You're not obligated to doing any of these things. So you can just close this out and click on the chart of accounts icon. Now, when you click on the chart of accounts icon, these are the different accounts that QuickBooks has associated the business with. So remember inside of the express setup, we went and we saw the chart of accounts and we can go and pick and choose whatever accounts that we want to use. So this is where we see the results of picking and choosing the accounts. Now the tax mapping is probably the most important thing that you're going to do inside of the setup of QuickBooks, of QuickBooks desktop and turn it into a tax information hub. That simply means that because we choose our business to be a single member LLC, the IRS treats this as a sole proprietorship type entity. So we want QuickBooks to be able to capture all of our income and all of our expenses that we entered. We want QuickBooks to associate the proper tax form with that information. So the tax form that's used whenever we are a single member LLC is the Schedule C. The Schedule C captures all of the income, all of the expenses, vehicle mileage, and everything else that's associated with the business.